Hey, what's going on everybody? Breezy here with a paid AV Heist post commentary. Uh, we're attempting to do Mercy Hospital Stealth on Overkill. And there's a very specific reason I'll put this up. I put this video up, and you'll see in a bit, but uh, I'm gonna shut up because we end up getting the Bill cameo. Hey, hold the door. Hey. Please go outside and smoke. You can't smoke in here, sir. Crap. Good day, sir. I remember when you could smoke in the operating room. <laughs> Once I put on that damn dress, I tell you, I'm smoking anywhere I want. Before we're done. Bane, old time River Hair's been talking, so I didn't. Let's go. Okay, you got that. And I find that quote and like incredibly hilarious. That whole scenario, um, especially because in my Boy Scout troop, my father, uh, everyone would call him. I'm not gonna say my actual last name, but I'm just gonna say it's like Rogers or whatever. So they would call him, he has a big beard and everything, they call him Old Man Rogers, and they sang Old Man River. They sang Old Man Rogers to the tune of Old Man River. It was absolutely glorious, but we're currently checking where the cams are. There's one in the elevator room, six in the reception, two in the main corridor, I mean, sorry, two in the north corridor, and then I believe that's all nine, right? Yeah, that's all nine. So, we're pretty much deciding where we're gonna attack. I think I go for the main corridor area. Not like in the main corridor, but right outside. And I ask if everyone's ready, that's what R means. And we start a countdown. And we quickly go to destroy all the cameras. And we managed to pull it off, which, honestly, this part, in my opinion, is the hardest part of stealth, is keeping all the civilians away from the buttons, but I decided to take my usual area during whenever I try this at the reception desk, um, because keeping those fuckers down are important, because there's buttons right in front of them that sound the alarm instantly. Um, but I started searching the patient database, trying to get more people on the ground, uh, Chains, whoever's playing as Chains, I forget, I'll double check when he comes around again, but Chains is, uh, helping me. I missed the name again. <laughs> God damn it. But, um, the other two, one of them is taking the cafeteria, I think one is taking the elevator and the cafeteria. Like, one of them is running from the cafeteria area to the hallway, like the north corridor, and then he's, the other guy's taking the elevator and the cafeteria as well, and the stairwell. But yeah, I'm tying some of the guys closer. I'm trying to tie guys that are close to the button because that way if they get up Like if somebody else who's not close to the button gets up I have more time to get them on the ground whereas if someone in, Right in front of it gets up and I don't notice we're screwed But yeah, the standard stuff uh, Trying to keep everybody on the ground as best as we can I'm saving one cable tie at the moment. I'm trying to find someone good to use it on, and I decide to use it on that nurse there. Although he actually beats me to it, that's right. Uh, so we shoot the guard that comes up to investigate. And we, I start looking for the patient files. I believe Chains is also helping me there. Oh, I can look in the- I'm dumb, I can just look in the left corner to see his name, so... Haken the Mert, however I pronounce his name, is helping me. And then, other than that, I don't know, because I don't know who- which character is in the other room. But, me and Haken- Haken, I'm just gonna call him Haken. Uh, but me and him are checking the files. And I believe I end up- I end up finding it, it might be him. Not, well, one of us found it, evidently. <laughs> so, we managed to get through, again, in my opinion, the hardest part of the stealth. We just have to set up fake sentry guns, and then the civilians are no longer an issue. Which, again, is, in my opinion, the hardest part of stealth in this mission. Because if all it takes is one civilian to get by you, and you're fucked. And there's so many of them. And it's all, I also found it really funny in game as well. Just look at the hostage count and see fucking 24. Because we all brought the um, ex maxed out extra cable ties skill. Or perk, boost, bonus, whatever the fuck they call it in game. 
Uh, but yeah, we go and get in the scrubs, and we're going off. He says not to press F, which is the Iraqi. <laughs> which is very important, because otherwise you just start the heist. So I make it, I make a joke here, saying, like, press an F, stat. Because they also say stat in a hospital. But just as a joke. And then I specify, just kidding. And then I go to walk forward. And I'm stunned for a second. And then I realize, instead of hitting W, I hit E, which is my interact key. I fucked up self in the dumbest way possible. And of course, I feel so bad at this point. Like, people are gonna be like, wait, who did this? I explain it, like, I feel horrible. Because I fucked it up for them and myself. <laughs> Thankfully, he's actually, like, surprisingly cool about it. Like, kudos to Hawken for not getting absolutely pissed. And we both asked if we should restart. Uh, Gert GTR is the host. Um, but we end up not restarting for some reason. <laughs> we decided to go in loud. Uh, my music in game decides to cut out for no reason. Uh, clearly a sign of great things to come, even the music gave up on me, but <laughs> So my loadout if you didn't notice it at the beginning is the Rheinbeck shotgun or if you don't put the bottom right hand corner, but <laughs> Rheinbeck shotgun, ammo bag, uh, compact 5 SMG, Bernetti 9 uh, Simply because of the suppression so I can shoot the cameras And again as I said extra cable ties um, he asks again, like, we start, and I say, sure, like, yeah, other people want to do it. Um, evidently other people didn't want to do it. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I'm using my Bernie 9 on the weak cops, because they're weak cops. And it gives me, like, easy bonuses for the challenges. I start trying to shoot at them with a shotgun in hopes of getting multi-kills. Well, I only managed to land one, which is that one right there. It's like the only multi kill I managed to land out of all of those. And I, I at that point, give up on the multi kill. I just move to the pistol I have a support of ammo for. And yeah, I take a lot of damage right there without really noticing. I'm also incredibly used to having thick skin um, on lighter difficulties, so sometimes swap to ammo, but or I occasionally toolkit, but I don't think toolkit really does that much, it's only like a point set increase. Um, unfortunately, whatever his name was, ha Hanukin, Hakin, whatever I decided to call him, uh, leaves the game. Uh, so we have an AI now. I go to shoot this dude, and I go to fix the saw, but I see he has it, so I decide to move along and go shoot some more dudes. And I end up dying, because I went to go shoot more dudes. So I start trying to take out as many as I can, but I got a burn 9 so it's like, kick all for damage. And it's overkill, so it's literally the second highest difficulty in the game. I also, one thing I really love about Payday 1 as opposed to 2 is how the smoke bombs were like actually a threat because it actually obscures your vision. In Payday 2, it's like super easy. It slightly obscures it, but you can very easily see through the smoke. Uh, so, once again, trying to get as many as I can. Uh, Jason starts to get me up, thankfully. I started to get chains up, but then I see that Jason has an inside the door. And I go back to shooting more guys. Because it worked out so well last time. Um, but they don't instantly get down that time, so that's that's, that's a good. So at this point, I'm mostly just looking for people to kill. I end up getting hit from the left, but I don't really notice it in time. And then when I do, I don't really make the best play. 
so I'm down. I know that no one's staying me up. I try and take out the Joker if I don't quite get him. Um, and then I'm looking around and I see Chains is getting electrocuted. Jason's down. And GTR is getting Jason up. Uh, Chains is down. Chains is far away. So at this point, I did not have much hope. And then Jason goes down again. With a much shorter timer now. And he ends up, I don't move the camera for some dumb reason, but he ends up helping Jason probably just in time. Uh, Chains dies. Rip Chains. But it's also worth mentioning, this is the same crew that I had just done a Overkill 145 semi-stealth run of the Diamond with, meaning we got through the alarm boxes but then got caught and then the codes didn't work. But GTR gets downed and then Jason does and we end up losing. <laughs> um, so the more moral of the story is make sure you hit the right key, because otherwise you end up fucking over your entire crew. <laughs> you feel really bad about it. Um, but yeah, we ended up trying this multiple other times and succeeding absolutely none of them. And I'm not going to bother showing those because one, one of them literally just we lose in 2 minutes and 30 seconds because a uh, professor sneaks up behind me at the reception and pushes the button. But, um, yes, that's pretty much it. Uh, so, yeah, thank you for watching, and take care, guys. Uh, oh, and let me, let me know, let me know if you want, like, more Payday the Heist commentaries like this. I feel I'm going to do at least one or two more. Um, and I definitely have an amateur hour planned for this, which I'm totally going to make into a series. Um, but, yeah, so, let me know what you think of it. And take care, guys.